So it's time for my impressions and thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077 before release date. And mind you, this is before the big patch update that they are going to release to fix up a lot of the bugs and issues that the game is seeing. Let's begin. First off, I want to say thanks guys for showing love on my unboxing of the Cyberpunk 2077 Collector's Edition. I really appreciate that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna enjoy this because I've been waiting for it for a long time. I didn't overhype myself because I'm not expecting much. I don't want to give away too much. I don't want to give any spoilers and obviously no gameplay that you can't see, of course. One of the major things that I've noticed were uh, the gra graphics really muddy. So I think this is gonna be a problem for current console players. You're gonna have um, some muddy graphics. So right off the bat when I started the game, I've noticed something really huge. Um, obviously, low times with consoles, current consoles. I have the Xbox One X right now. I have a Series X, I didn't hook it up yet. It's slow. It's really slow to load, so for the people who are going to be playing it on current consoles, you're going to have a hard time. It's going to take a long time to load, and uh, there's also a lot of uh, pop-in graphical issues. Maybe this could be fixed with a patch, I don't know. Hopefully it can be because the people who have current consoles should enjoy this game to the best fidelity they possibly can. I'm saying current console, am I? <sighs> Sorry, I meant last gen consoles because technically the current consoles are now the Xbox Series X and the PS5. A little bit about my character. Um, so I created my character, made him look really badass, really cool, gave him some piercings and beard. Uh, you know, kind of like me giving my hairstyle and all that. But then I went a little bit crazier and probably gave him like a Neymar haircut. The thing is, I can't really see him, so I forgot. I'm starting off as Corbo. I thought it'd be interesting. It's cool. You start off in this really high-end building, and uh, you're throwing up in the sink in the beginning, talking to your friend, and all of a sudden, uh, you have a job, and you have to go in and talk to your boss. I don't want to give away too much. I'm trying to be as, you know, as vague as possible, so I don't really ruin it. But there was one scene that's really cool that I liked while you're talking to your boss, I'm assuming he's your boss, talks to a lady and something, and then, you know, they finish up their conversation. And when the TV screen goes off, you kind of see a view of the city behind them, you know? Kind of reminds me of the Elusive Man from uh, Mass Effect, but the, the, the scene was really cool. And I can imagine on PC and current consoles, the graphics are gonna look really cool for that because you could take a look out of the window and see all these holographic imagery and art and uh, advertisements and it looks really cool and I feel like I'm missing out playing it on these last gen consoles because it just looked really cool when it, the screen turned off and, and then you could see the you know the city behind him uh, through the glass mirror. Ray tracing is gonna make it a lot better but I'm pretty sure the PC players you guys are gonna you guys are gonna enjoy this game a whole lot. So, yeah, I'm not really too far in. I mean, maybe I am, I don't know. Um, uh, those are just uh, the intros that I, those, those are just the intro scenes that I wanted to talk about. Uh, so I'm gonna answer some of you guys' questions that you guys had for me through Twitter and uh, on my YouTube videos. All right, so for the first question, Abdullah Huda asks, everything looks awesome, high quality. This is for my last video. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, how did you get early access to it? Honestly, I just got lucky. Um, I pre-ordered the console, the collector's edition way early. So, <clears throat> Best Buy had it in their system that the game was supposed to come out in November. So technically it was late in their system. So once they got their hands on it, they just shipped it right away, not knowing that the actual release date was December 10th. And you can't blame them. I mean, kind of had like four delays. And you know what, for someone who's been waiting for such a long time, I think, you know, I kind of deserve that and I, I'm really happy that I got it early and I get to, to play. But obviously, you guys are not really missing much because this game needs a big patch, which is pretty evident with the news and media saying that it's going to come out. So don't worry, you're not missing out. Of course, you're missing out on playing the most hyped game of all time early on. It feels freaking awesome though because I'm a normal guy. I don't get early access to games and I don't get given 
you know, games way before they come out and all that stuff. And, and it's not fair when a lot of YouTubers already, you know, gaming YouTubers get their stuff early on and, and they get to do all these videos of walkthroughs and stuff before we even get our hands on it. Well, it kind of feels cool and feels nice, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm not gonna release any gameplay or anything like that until release date, just so you guys, uh, you know, so I don't ruin it for anyone, obviously. I, I wouldn't do that, but I'm just, I just really want to because I want to share how awesome it is with you guys. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna, you're gonna get there. Another question is from Dutch Vanderland. Dutch Vanderland. Oh. Another question from Dutch Vanderland. Red Dead Redemption, man, I love that game. Uh, did it live up to your expectations? You can't really say that. Graphically, no. I'm gonna be quite honest. Graphically, no. And that's probably because it's on the Xbox One X right now. But so far, uh, character motions are really cool. Voice acting is top notch. I'm, I'm, I'm just so immersed when the characters are talking, which is really important. And you know, obviously, I, I just don't like first. I mean, I'll, I like first person, but I, I like switching back and forth. I like having the option. I don't know why games don't have that anymore. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 added it, where you can switch at any time to first person and third person, which is great. When you click in the left thumbstick and you run. I like it. It just feels weighted and it feels like it has momentum and there's push and there's give. It's really cool. It doesn't feel like you're flying across. Fur27S asks, did you play it on the original Xbox One? How are the graphics? Technically, yes, this is the original Xbox One, but it's the Xbox One X, which is kind of an upgraded version. Graphics are okay. They're, like I said, they're muddy, but this can be fixed and obviously this is a last gen console, so it can, it can vary for some people. So you got the disc already, but you can't play. Why? Well, there's a, a rule that CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk team already put out that you can't play. You could play it, but you can't sell or stream the game before December 10th or 9th. So that's why. I mean, I can't. I can't stream anything. I'm not streaming anything, and I'm just talking about my experience. You're just seeing like a shot, but that's blurry and not even clear. L. David, how was it so far? Was it too overhyped? Um, to be honest with you, I didn't overhype it for myself. I don't like overhyping things because I'm always, like I said, it's gonna set me up for like disaster. Because when I overhype things in my head, I, I tend to go a little overboard, so I don't do that anymore. I kind of tone my hypeness a little. Right when they announced first person, my hype was like at a just normal level. Never really got that. Uh, Supervisor JD asks, why do you have two collector's editions? I actually have four. Two came early and two are on hold right now because Best Buy shipped them early. Um, yeah, I mean, why not? I was able to get them and I got them. I got an Xbox, PS4, and one for the Windows. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving some away, so stay tuned for that. Kingpin asks, why are there two discs? That is correct, there are two discs, and this is the disc uh, disc one that's playing right now. I thought it was gonna be like Red Dead where you install One disc and the other is just to play but it seems that this is like Old school if I'm not mistaken like the old PlayStation days where you had to once you finish the game You take out the disc and put in the second disc and the system asks you to put the second disc I'm not sure that hasn't happened yet, but that could be it because I didn't have to download anything Okay, another question from Aura HSN from Twitter he asks, how much next gen would you call this game? What do you think of the graphics? And uh, with the rating, what do you give it an overall rating of? Um, you know, in order for me to call it next gen, I have to play it on a next gen console. I'm playing it on Xbox One X, which is last gen. So I can't really say that. Uh, to be honest with you, it looks like, it looks like current games. There's nothing really, too spectacular that makes you say like, whoa, this is next gen. You know, don't forget, they were building this game maybe like eight years and they were building it for current gen consoles. It wasn't really something that was planned to be made for next gen consoles. However, it is gonna be upgraded of course, but it is a current gen game. So that's my opinion. And at the same time, that's not a bad thing. It's a current gen game that is packed immensely with detail. And that's more important for me than, you know, having just the craziest graphics, right? D 
detail for me is, is amazing. That's why I love Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, there was so much detail. Eli Levy asks, how detailed is the customizing? Many say that you can literally change anything. Is it true? No, you cannot literally change everything. And I'm really upset about that. And I hope that gets fixed with an update. Your character creation is good. I mean, there's a lot of options, but they're not very customizable. In a sense, you could choose different noses, you can choose different eyes, you can choose different eyebrows, you can choose different jaws, ears, lips, but you can't change the size, you can't really change, um, you know, the, the, the depth and, and width and all that stuff. You can't really play around with that. You just could choose different options. Not a lot of hairstyles, uh, I was kind of disappointed in that. Uh, and. Also, you can't really change your body type. You're just one regular body type, which I thought was really interesting. You can't be fat, you can't be super skinny, you can't be short, you can't be tall. You're just one, you're the same body. I mean, you could take off your nipples, you could, you know, change your, you know, your genitals and make it male or female. Uh, that was interesting, w really cool. You can make it small or big, that's it. You can't really extend it. There's not like a meter where you can keep going and extend it and make it really big. No, it's just either small or big. Big is kind of funny because it flops around when you're, <laughs> when you're moving, so that's pretty cool. I mean, pause. Hey, whatever, don't judge. Uh, uh, the thing that really upset me is that you can't make your character have a hairy body. You know, I try to make him similar to me, but I guess in the future, no one's gonna grow hair on their body. Uh, he was just really clean. It just looked too unreal for me. I mean, I had to give him a little bit of chest hair, you know? I wanted to give him, make him burly, you know? And rough and tough, but I couldn't do that. Uh, I didn't check out the female character creation. I will do that tomorrow, and I'll give you guys an update on that. Uh, I'm gonna have fun with that one, uh, for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It's not as detailed as I thought it would be. Uh, some games have a more detailed uh, character creation than this one, but it is a good one. Uh, it is it is a really good, decent character creation. Way better than Mass Effect Andromeda, so. How, how well is the vertical exploration? Are there any options like opening any door, or are there some limitations? Yeah, of course, there's options for opening doors. I haven't really gone out to try the verticalization yet, but I will be answering this in a later time. Eli Levy also asks, do you think that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to live up to the hype or is it underwhelming? Look, uh, again, I wanna say this. Guys, do not expect much. Don't expect too much. Remember, this is an RPG first person shooter. It's not like, it's not just an action game straight on. No, it's an RPG with a, you know, with a you know, growth system and, and you know, kind of a leveling up thing where you kind of upgrade. So. I mean, it, it's hyped up enough for me, so I, I'm okay with it. I mean, I, I kind of expected this, to be honest. I mean, I, what, like what I said, like graphical-wise and, and all that, and the limitations. Yeah, that's, that's the best word for it. There's a lot of limitations. But remember, I'm using current consoles, so. Many people think the game is going to be GTA-like. Do you agree that it is GTA-like or nothing alike? See, that's the problem, and that's gonna make a lot of people. I guarantee you this, okay? It was kind of like the, the, I don't know if you guys ever, the Morrowind effect when it came to Xbox. Everybody jumped on Morrowind because they're like, oh man, it's like GTA, but back in the day with, with swords and all that. You know, that's what it was. That's, that's what really a lot of people were calling it. A lot of people bought it and then they just didn't play it anymore and they just gave it away to their friends or they sold it back and stuff like that. So don't expect this to be a GTA game. Don't expect it to be anything similar to GTA. It has some things like that, but I think it's better because it's more immersive and it's an RPG. I, I really like RPG. I know GTA has some RPG elements, but it's nothing like GTA for sure. I just don't like that people are comparing them to. I know why it makes sense, it makes absolute sense, but I think that's why also uh, uh, CD Projekt Red didn't want to go third person because maybe people are gonna be like, hey, you know, GTA is better or something like that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna say that, especially the younger crowd, but it is what it is, you know? I think it's awesome and I like these type of games. I like games that take their time, that are nice and just filled with substance. That's just me. Is the game heavy loot based or is it pretty chill with the loot? Not 
there is something with that, but I don't want to really give it away right now. So I will be talking about that in the next video because there is something pretty cool and interesting with that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a really quick one. I just want to get back to playing. And remember, if you have any questions, let me know. And oh yeah, I have an extra Xbox Series X that I'm going to be giving away. So if you guys haven't watched my main channel, <laughs> my girl got me an Xbox Series X and I ended up getting her one too. We didn't even realize that. And I'm telling you guys, that was the craziest thing we caught on camera. I, I, I mean, <sighs> she knew I wanted one, but I wanted to get her one because I got the PlayStation 5 for myself. It was just really weird, but hey, we have an extra one and I'm giving it away. So check the description box for more information. And believe me, you're gonna wanna enjoy, if you're a console player, you're gonna wanna enjoy Cyberpunk on the strongest console out there. All right, I'll see you guys, peace.